Hello everyone, this is Tom with Inovia Consulting, and I'm here to talk just a little bit about Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Business Central is a great alternative for those companies that have outgrown QuickBooks or one of the Sage products and are really looking for their next step in terms of an ERP or a business system. Microsoft has invested heavily in the Business Central and Dynamics platforms, and over the past 10 years has brought integration to a new level. Here I'm logged in to the Office 365 portal, and you can see my apps, my frequent apps that are loaded, Outlook, Word, Excel, and the Dynamics 365 app. One of the superior products that Microsoft offers and is used widely is Microsoft Outlook. As we look at this particular inbox, we see that uh, prospect Jeff Pergalski has asked us about a quote and so he's given us a quote number and he's asking if we can uh, provide him a discount. With Microsoft's investment in our products, we could check on Jeff's account, we could look at this document and see if uh, we want to provide the discount. And so by clicking Business Central, it's going to verify that I'm allowed to log in and then it's gonna bring up Jeff's account details. So I can see how many quotes we have going, how many orders, how many times we've invoiced them, and it would appear that Jeff's a pretty good customer. So now I'm gonna take a look at this particular quote and Microsoft's logic knows. So based on just this quote number in the subject line, it knows to link to this quote inside of Business Central. I can go in, I can adjust this quote, I can play with the products that are on here and I can determine whether or not I'm going to give him his discount. If I was not, uh, working on a specific email, but I just wanted to send a customer a new quote, a new invoice, an order, if I was a purchasing person working with a vendor, everyone can work directly from Outlook, which makes people a lot more efficient because as we're all aware, we spend a lot of time in our email each day. As I move on from a customer service point of view, one of the great advantages in Business Central is that it has built-in CRM. So this is included in the base price of the product, which is very inexpensive, only $70 a user per month for a full user. And you can uh, interact with contacts, opportunities, sales quotes, uh, marketing campaigns. So there is a lot of uh, power in this particular uh, CRM package. I can get a quick snapshot of my sales pipeline so I can see I've got 10 opportunities in the initial phase. I can see as they move down the pipeline how many opportunities I have at each stage. Uh, you know, which salespeople are working, so it appears Peter's the only one that's producing anything. And then it puts right in front of my face some of the most important things that I have going on. And so you can see it turns red when things move outside of parameters that I have set and I could click on those and actually take a look at that opportunity and see what's going on. So it gives me a right at a glance, the things I need to pay attention to to make sure that my sales are gonna perform the way our leadership and our company expects us to. With a quick search, I can also look at our sales cycles. And so sales cycles are really where it all starts. When I set up my sales cycles, uh, some companies will have one sales cycle. Their business is pretty straightforward. They treat each account the same way. But in other businesses, I approach my business differently depending on the customer segment that I'm working with. And so in this case, I have existing customer sales for both large accounts and small accounts. I have first-time customer sales, again, by large and small accounts. And for each one of these, I have different stages. And so I can help my sales team move through our sales process and give us a weighted uh, possibility so that when my pipeline shows up, I can see not only where am I, but what are my odds of winning and what does that mean from a weighted revenue perspective. The other opportunity that we have is in questionnaires. And so demographic data is really important for us to do the best job we can in sales and marketing. And so when I go in and I look at my questionnaire setups, what this allows us to do for both companies and people, and you can see I've got quite a few here, but for a company, I may want to know information such as the size of the company, whether they're privately held or publicly traded, 
uh, whether or not, uh, you know, they're a, a competitor or a partner of ours. Uh, for people, it gives us an opportunity to understand a little bit more personal information. So, you know, married, not married, children, no children, what are their hobbies? What are their interests? And all of this enables us to interact with our companies and our contacts in ways that are more meaningful. So we can build uh, campaigns that speak to them about things we know they're interested in. So if I go in and I look for Mindy Martin, and actually, so you can see it very quickly went and found Mindy Martin. But maybe I can't remember Mindy's first name, so I just search on Martin. And it searches the entire string. So the fuzzy search capability is excellent. But in this case, I am looking for Mindy Martin. And so when I go into her contact, I can see what's going on with her. I can see these questionnaires that I was just talking about. And so as I build campaigns and marketing activities with Mindy, I know that I can do the best job possible to make sure she understands she's a valued customer, we appreciate their business, and hopefully we'll secure more business from Mindy. So this was just a brief overview of the CRM capabilities inside Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. I hope we found this useful, and I'll look forward to talking with you in future videos. Thanks.